stop staring at me. Hey guys, what is up? I am going to be reviewing YSL Libre for today's video. And before we get started, I want you to like this video, comment down below something you want to, and make sure you subscribe because I post fragrance reviews. Is that convincing enough? I don't know if I mentioned this, but hi, this is Hubert Moore and I am Purvi and this was really messed up. Like this whole introduction is a complete mess. He just doesn't want to sit properly for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, I can't know anything about it. But today we're talking about Libre by YSL. So because YSL Libre was released in 2019, this is, oh my goodness, my dog is doing yoga. But uh, since it was released in 2019, it is a very uh, new perfume, of course. And uh, because of that, there was a lot of like hype around it. Some people hated it. Some people were absolutely in love. So I'm pretty sure they sold a lot of these because brands usually come up with uh, intense versions or any other type of flankers if they have made a lot of profit on the original one. First up, we always talk about presentation and packaging and I don't have anything to say about that because of course you can see how beautiful the box is, you can see how beautiful the bottle is. It is cute, it's nice, it's pretty, it's very luxurious and I think this is what attracts most people to buy this perfume at least that's what happened with me so i really love the bottle there's nothing to complain it feels heavy it feels luxurious everything is sturdy and nice talking about the fragrance itself it is a floral vanilla perfume it has a beautiful floral notes so this isn't the type of floral that's just like a mix of some random floral notes. I think every single uh, flower perhaps that is used in this fragrance is something I absolutely love. It has orange blossom, it has lavender, it has some white flowers, it has jasmine as well. It is a beautiful combination of just every single floral note that I love and it's very high quality. What I truly love about this fragrance is how like beautifully balanced it is so it has a vanilla as well but it's very well balanced the florals in this aren't overpowering they're not going to give you a headache oh my god this is my dog hold on i love the fact that it has the perfect amount of sweetness everything is just as i said well balanced that is what i enjoy the most and it's extremely extremely smooth and well blended as well but i know quite a lot of people who say this perfume is boring it's just a, a floral perfume but i think this in my opinion personally i have smelled a lot of designer fragrances i do have quite a lot of designer fragrances in my own collection but this one i still appreciate like this comes in like my top five or top ten because to me this is one of the good designer fragrances in the market this is unique it is not at all boring in my opinion and if you think so how dare you <laughs> just kidding guys this isn't boring at all in fact if i had to recommend one floral perfume from like all designer fragrances that i've smelled till now one perfume that has insane amount of like amazing orange blossom jasmine white flowers um, just beautiful lavender in it. I think this is the one that I would always recommend. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It gives such a soothing, calming, yet extremely elegant, yet extremely luxurious vibe. I am absolutely in love with it. I mean, if I think about it, the first time I smelt it at the store, I, even I was a little bit disappointed. I was a little bit underwhelmed because I think this is a perfume that you cannot smell on a tester strip and just uh, call it a day. I truly believe that once I sort of, um, you know, let the perfume sit on, once I let the perfume sit, <laughs> once I let the perfume sit on my skin for some time, for two, three hours, it has the most insane projection. That is when the soothing, calming, just luxurious vibe comes from this perfume. It is extremely long lasting. And to be honest, in 2020, if there is a perfume that I would recommend, over um let's say something like carolina herrera good girl i think the time of carolina herrera good girl is a little bit over right now like i i, I think it's just overdone like if you want to smell like everybody you can go ahead like get it it is still good uh but in 2020 i think uh if you want to be part of the trends or something i don't know uh, you can grab this one i would totally recommend it I don't have any problem with this. This can easily be a signature perfume because uh, it can be worn just anywhere, anytime, any occasion. 
I know I can speak for like five more minutes repeating the same points, but I think it's just of no use. So I'm just gonna like sign off from here because that's all I gotta say. Totally recommend it. Uh, 10 on 10, love it. So that is all about why sell Libra. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this mini review, and for anyone who's wondering which lipstick I am wearing today, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild um, Chestnut Lip Liner and this lip crayon from Nykaa Matalicious in Mocha Sin. Oh my god, stop crying. Hold on, eight minutes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next fragrance review. Bye.